Okay, we've made it to the Real Hair Series Part 4. It's currently 9.59. I can't even begin to tell you all how busy and long of a day I've had. I did my dad's nails today. Finished my nails today. They're cute. Tutorial coming soon. By the time it's up, if you're watching this later on, I'll definitely have it in the cards. So for about two minutes, or I'll have the timestamp up in case you're not interested in what I'm about to do. But this is going to be my straight to curly routine. But I just want to test something out for a newer audience. So if it's like my subscribers aren't interested in this, I know that in order to like build a larger audience, like everybody's not here for the same thing. Like some people are subscribed for nail tutorials, some people are here for the vlogs, some people are here for my hair tutorials. So <laughs> I'll put a timestamp up if you want to skip my ASMR dandruff scratching portion. That way I'm not scratching it up while I'm shampooing. If you all saw my uh, glueless wig and style video, this is that same tuck your hair back and put a wig on top of it until you wash it type of thing. Oof. Now that that's over. Oh, my favorite part of the night. Oh, oh, yes. Good night. Let's do this. Okay, so for this to be ASMR style, I definitely want to make this quick. The way you all can just watch. If you're not interested in this portion, go ahead and click through to 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah. So I do want to say if you all do have dandruff like me and you try to find different methods and all of that. Um, I was going to actually let my dad do this portion. He used to scratch my dandruff for me all the time before I would begin my washing process. Because this helps to get the build up off of the scalp before you go to the sink. That way, when you do shampoo your hair, you've already scratched it up. And that way you can just rinse it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and make parted sections. I won't be parting in the back because I don't usually have my dandruff in the back. Majority of it is always in front. And the products that we'll be using today did definitely work for me. I just want to put that out there in the beginning before you all pause the video and start typing more recommendations. The products that we are using were recommendations that you all left for me. Reasonable recommendations. Shampoo, conditioner, and I'm trying a hair and scalp treatment for the very first time so I'll be back once we begin the shampooing process Okay, the bag rattling kind of sounded cool to me, so I figured I would just start my voiceover back up after that. And just to try something different, I did unmute a few of the clips because I have read comments where you all say you find my wash day routine sort of relaxing. So to kind of soothe you more, I'm just playing around with the audio and also my tone of voice to kind of relax you all while you watch the video. So I'm going to be using the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo. I picked this up at the mall. If you all saw my shop with me video, I'll link it down below if you missed it. It does say to only apply a small amount to damp hair, lather and rinse completely. I did take what's kind of considered more than a small amount, but it's all good. So you all can see even just after rinsing my hair with warm water before we've even used the shampoo, my curls are coming back. And you can also see immediately that I do still have a few relaxed ends left. So given my first impression on the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo, 
first I do want to say I've had this shampoo used on my hair before when I went to a salon a couple years ago to get braids the shampoo was used on me so the other two products will definitely be a real first first impression but this is my first time purchasing it on my own and using it myself just glancing at the details on the back it does say that you can use this every day if you would like I personally don't wash my hair daily but if you're someone that does I think that this shampoo will be pretty cool for you because it is gentle but effective and it didn't really make my hair feel stripped like of moisture but it definitely left it feeling clean I absolutely love the cooling and tingling sensation that I had while I was washing my hair I know I'll be using it like over and over again because it works so well I'll definitely be repurchasing it it's only $14 I'll probably go ahead and get the larger bottle now because it's definitely worth it to me now we're gonna go ahead and go back in and shampoo my hair a second time but first I just wanted to quickly let you all see what my hair looks like up close I like to go ahead and rinse, lather, and repeat. I know my hair looks like it's shorter in the back, but when I was kind of randomly doing my cuts and things like that, I would always kind of play around in the back more so than the front. The way I could kind of hide it. Fully natural in the back, and my hair, I think, is like looser in the front. I'm still like new to learning my hair. I'm only, what's this, March? So April of 2019 will make a full two years for me since I've relaxed, or since I've last relaxed my hair. Alright, so after my second wash, I went in with the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Hair and Scalp Treatment. I'm just now correctly reading these instructions. It says to apply a small amount and you're supposed to massage this into your hair and scalp for 3-5 to five minutes. I massaged it into my scalp and then I let it sit for 5 minutes. That was incorrect. <laughs> Well, this stuff is really tingly. This is like really tingly. I have to say it now because I won't remember in the voiceover to mention it. It's like a cooling, tingling sensation. I'm using the palms of my hands, by the way, not my stiletto nails. <laughs> wow, my hair looks great. Oh my goodness. If I would have gotten some layers in the front, check out part three, if you missed it, and that would have taken care of these little areas in the front. Just in case you didn't keep up with my series, these portions right here were already straight, so it's definitely not damaged, but I'm still not fully natural yet either. I definitely am in the back, and having that trim helps me to see what my real length is. If I was to style my hair and just leave it down like this, my scalp is really clean too. Like really clean. Wow, these are about to be my go-to products. Paul Mitchell, hi. So there aren't any detailed instructions as to whether you should use warm or cool water, but I just chose to go with warm water since I was going to follow up with my conditioner step last. And since I did massage this into my scalp, I'm also massaging in my scalp as I rinse to make sure I remove all of the product. All right, last step is the conditioner. So this is the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Invigorating conditioner and the directions say to apply a small amount to clean damp hair, massage and rinse completely. This did not have a time frame on it. I let this sit for about 25 minutes while I did a few other things I needed to do for the night and this time I'll rinse with cool water. I like to really go in with my conditioner especially since for this time I did straighten my hair out so I want to make sure that I'm like conditioning conditioning. And you all can see also how easy it was for me to comb through my hair. Also when I'm shampooing my hair, I don't like to bunch it up on my head. You all may have noticed, I like for it to just all hang forward. That way it never gets into a tangled state to begin with. So I'd like to do a majority of my detangling once the conditioner has already set on my hair. I feel like it kind of just does something and then it's like, oh, now we can detangle. It didn't really say anything as far as if you could sit under a heated dryer, a hooded dryer, anything like that. So I just kind of let my cap sit on my head and just use the natural head heat. Can I say that? Yeah, I can say that. <laughs> so rinsing it out with cool water to go ahead and seal my cuticle off and all of that. Okay, I've been multitasking. I just curled this wig for my mom. If you all saw my previous video, when I showed you all the hair that I told y'all my mom was gonna get that wig. 
so I just curled it for her because I'm putting it on her in the morning. <laughs> my curls are back. I'm not about to style my hair because it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Where's my phone? I don't see my phone. Oh, it's not 2 yet. <laughs> it's 1.17. I'm kind of stressed out. I'm kind of nervous because I'm on program to speak at my dad's pastoral installation. By the time you all see this, will have already happened. So, I don't know if I've done good or not already, but... I'm just kind of stressed out and nervous. It's gonna be a lot of people there. And I gotta speak. And my sisters and them always like to put me up to speak when it's like, okay, who wants to speak from the family? Everybody goes at the same time, destiny. <laughs> I'm like, why y'all think I like to talk? Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. But this is different. I'm just gonna write out some talking points and stuff like that. Not that I don't know how to speak about my dad, but when you get in front of people, you know how you blank out of something? So to look back down at that, it's like, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. But anywho, cause I know some of y'all not here for the chit chat portion, but I really like talking to y'all, so I wish you could be here for it. This is my hair, my curls are back. Basically, it's just really soft, it's clean. Since the product that I use has peppermint, lavender, and tea tree, I'm gonna follow up with this. If y'all saw my $400 shopping spree video, this was one of the things that I got when the camera died. And I didn't get to show you all I went to the beauty supply store. This is peppermint oil. So I'm just going to apply this in my hair. I hate when they put the sensors right in the way of the ingredient list. My dad uses this. I know it's good stuff because whenever I used to sneak and borrow his back home before I moved. I liked it a lot. See, I'm going to braid my hair up. And basically, we're back to square one from part one. When I took my wig off to take my braids down, this brings us back to that point again. This isn't a styling video. I just know y'all wanted to see where the curls come back, blah, blah, blah. I haven't combed through my hair yet either. I'm just going to braid it down. I hope I'll be in bed at least by two. If you have questions or comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you missed part one through three, all of those will be linked in my description box down below. I'll pin it as my top comment in the comment section. I didn't damage my hair by straightening it out. I do still have relaxed ends left. I don't really want to trim at those because it will ruin my cut but who knows don't quote me I may randomly cut them let me know if y'all want me to record it I went ahead and styled this wig tutorial will be coming soon because I had to speak at my dad's pastoral installation if you all missed it that's my previous video and I actually did good so check it out so four days later Sunday to Wednesday I had on this wig and after I got from the gym the easiest way to get your wig off without ruining your edges is to go work out and sweat. I use free spray and got to be glue gel so it lifts basically right off so that I don't have any flakes or any dandruff. My scalp was not itchy uh, because I didn't have any dandruff coming in which usually is what causes my scalp to itch underneath the wig because some people do ask me about that. My scalp is nice and clean. The only two products that I applied when I was braiding my hair down was the peppermint oil that you all saw and the 5-in-1 styling cream. I'm just in my hat now until I decide to do something else different to my hair. I am still using wild growth oil on my brows every night and that's working pretty well for me. Nails tutorial is coming soon. I'm thinking about doing a nails series next. Let me know what you all think if you made it to the end. Questions or comments, leave all of that down below and I'll talk to you all in my next video. I hope you all enjoy all four parts of my real hair series. Navigate around. However many I can put on the screen or on the screen, click on my cute little face to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Can't believe I'm ending my video like this. I might have some random little thumbnail covering me up right now. I don't know. Good night.